Hi guys. Hi guys. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning from Germany. Um, what do we have? End of May. Yes. Today's video will be like we promise you, the video of Tooth, the inspection of the truck after the four years that we were driving outside of the country. I am Isabella and I am from Brazil. This is Fabian and he is German. We've been overlanding the world with our home sweet home, Frank the Tank, for the past almost four years. And together with our son Matteo and our two lovely dogs, Uni from Spain and Basco from Germany, we are living even for before. Subscribe and welcome to the family. Ah, and one more thing. We have now a members area in, uh, yes. in YouTube. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, uh, go there. Somewhere there is a button you can join in. Mm -hmm. um, we will try to be more updated there. Maybe a regular live if you like it. You can comment us. You can reach us directly if you want to. Yeah. Just join in. And yeah. Maybe a little more in detail the how is going our... New expedition vehicle. Yes. Exactly. Like you still can see, he doesn't look in the camera now. But that's cool. Here's <laughs> our Matteo. Um, hey, hello. Hey, Matteo. <laughs> and yeah, we are actually in our, if you believe it or not, in our kitchen. This screen behind is already um, the one of the secret things we have for our new truck. So we are testing things. So we are preparing. So stay tuned. Mm -hmm. And then we show how is the process, what we found there that was not so nice, broken, <laughs> what we fix it. Yeah, hope that you guys will enjoy this video. Exactly. We're gonna go through my truck, do a little service, what's necessary, and we get the German TÜV, um, which is important in Germany. It's uh, some kind of stamp that your truck can go on the road and uh, for a truck above 7.5 tons in Germany, you need it every year. But since we were traveling four years outside the country and haven't been here, we are missing four years of the stamp, which is not a problem as long as you don't drive in Germany. Uh, by the way, that's a question a lot of people asked. You can drive without TÜV outside Germany because it's only a German thing. But when you come back, you have to make sure that you have it. So we drove yesterday, I think 600 kilometers uh, to get to the TÜV station. And today we're gonna do the TÜV or tomorrow. We will see what's necessary. We drove last night or last day from Hamburg to Frankfurt. And here we're gonna meet up with a friend that you know from other videos already. So hi guys, we're here again with Markus. You remember, we had one video when I was in Canada. He's the guy behind all that. I'm a follower. I was for three years in Las Vegas and uh, we have a good night. Exactly. In the casino. <laughs> and by the way, we fixed my truck during the day. <laughs> we just want to make sure that everything runs smoothly. This is also part of the service, I guess. When somebody comes home from the world trip, you want to make sure that the systems, because we talked about we can run my truck for the bad diesel in Mexico and for the good one, obviously. And when we run with a good one, we also want to be environmental friendly and want to use all the necessary, you know, things and Marcus is making sure that everything runs. Plus today we have the yearly inspection in Germany, which uh, checks all those things and we want to make sure we pass it. Stay tuned. So Marcus, you don't see him right now. He's underneath the truck right now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna do ASU, which is the German for the, for the smoke, how much smoke comes out right now. Then we're gonna do TÜV. Was machen wir hier gerade? Asu, oder? AU und TÜV. Let's see how it works.
Yeah, and now we try to do the TÜV and while we did the inspection, we realized that uh, one of the brakes had a problem. So we're gonna check on this now. Just for, <laughs> just for the record, my <laughs> left back brake in Yukon, that was four years ago, uh, I heard something rattling and this was in my brake system. Oh so my this God. nice, this Rosario, this nice guy, I found it now. Wo kommt das jetzt her? Das ist da, das geht der Zylinder hier, hier. Und der Brick drückt das auseinander. Der drückt das hier rein und das geht auseinander und dann mache ich die Bremse zu. Okay. Dann brauche ich einmal das und die zwei Feder und dann... Na was? Ist könnt, günstiger wie jetzt. Ist günstiger wie 600 Euro. Könnt ihr das bei euch bestellen? Und da gibt es die hinten links. Es gibt nur, ist egal. Links ist egal, okay. okay. Now we ordered some parts and luckily in Germany at this station we get them overnight. So we stay one more night and then we have the parts and then we see if they can fix it. Good morning from Germany. Good morning, guys. <laughs> I think Fabio already told all of you good morning. Uh, we were looking out up on the window and there is a snow of frozen. Not freeze. It's not Mexico anymore. It's frozen Germany. <laughs> and the surfboard is back up there, but frozen. Amazing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the parts came immediately, which is different than in Mexico. <laughs> One day and we had the parts, so all good. Soon we're gonna be back on the road with TÜV. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> So, you guys remember when we were in the desert in Baja? Now we are back in the cold desert of Germany and Rosario is fixing it for real. The broken piece finally back in Germany we can replace. Thanks Rosario. Grazie mille. <laughs> This is the inspection guy and he's checking out under the truck to see if is everything good. Look at this, after four years, we get finally TÜV again, or DECRA in this case, right? But it's called TÜV, I guess. Jetzt sind die gelb. Warum sind die jetzt gelb? Weil die mir ein Jahr gegeben. Ah, die wechseln alle Jahre, oder was? Nice. 
Check this out. So we just need to know the color from next year and we're good. <laughs> so now the TÜV guy just gave me a new stamp for the gas, propane. We officially, after four years, we didn't have it four years now, but now we have it again. Isabella can cook officially now again. Thank you. It doesn't matter what you drive, Volvo, Renault, Iveco or Mercedes. In the end, you all end up here for the annual check. Then I hope you guys liked this video. If you like, give us a thumbs up. Hit don't, the bell. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you are not subscribed yet. And see you when we see you. See you when we see you. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs>